Raptor. Let's get, uh, let's get started with this. Dead and buried. We slain plenty of Immortals undead, now we press our advantage. Okay. Where was interested in the crypt north of here troubles me. I have all I need here from here for now, he said. The claim raising an undead army to attack my fort was merely a distraction. Enough talk. Meet me in... You hear a grotesquely obnoxious tooting of a horn from the direction of the town hall. Sounds like Duchess business. I'll see what the commotion's about. Apparently I have shit to do. Oh, is it? In it's instanced. Uh-oh. Come, Didymus. Let's see what awaits us. Hang on. More music lands since it can't seem to be figured out. The Herald of Varrock. Hello, Your Grace. It's delightful to see you again. Can I ask her? What are you re that we're reading? Another mystery novel? No, quite the contrary. Culture and Customs of the Dragon Camp. It's volume two in a series written by Mr. Mordo, the power pro professor of unnatural history at Varrock Museum. We're old friends. Did you know dragons are experiments created by the Dragon Ken? A reptilian race older than Gilinor itself. I, I actually did know that. Yes, I. Quiet, please, I have an announcement to make. It produces a horn and toots it with vigor. A groan reverberates within the raptor's helmet. Such a specifier, on behalf of King Rold and Queen Elamiria of Varrock, it's my pleasure to present you with a token of their gratitude. For your quick thinking, valor, and continued defense of the kingdom, the king and queen bestow upon you. A mountain of gold coins? Huge tracts of land? Avarice barking? No, even better. Behold, your royal gift. Magnificent, isn't it? King Roald III and Queen Ella Maria, painted by none other than Judith Singer of Lumford. You must be delighted. Painting. You have a return policy. <laughs> must we? Yes. Well, I'd best return to the capital. Keep up the good work at the wild on the wild frontier. Worried barking. Finally, the crypt. My oh, grace, may I have a word with you in private? I like how we can't even see it. What is it? Civil Raptor and I need to investigate why Zamorgo grows in the North Crypt. Yes, that's what worries me. Our guards report frequent injuries. Zombie bites, claw marks, the occasional disembowelment. Trouble you see with the fort guards. On Q, you hear several distant rowdy voices, crowd and unison. Fort guards rule! <sighs> Aside from their stubborn insistence on doing that, is that they're warriors. Unfortunately, undead have supernatural strength in close combat, making them formidable melee combatants. While the raptor do fellow does set a fine example by not getting torn asunder by fetid zombies, our fort guard new recruits are not so resilient. Crew guard captain fully dedicated to training guards and defending the fort. Yes, then the raptor can focus on adventuring, slaying, and brooding, not necessarily in that order. You have a candidate in mind? Well, the guard stands out as a promising leader. If you'd like to interview her, I'll make the arrangements. Yes, yeah, send her right in. Not really doing anything else, I got time. It's clear the raptor's not necessarily the best man for the job. Welcome. Check my notes here. Sophia? You know around here? No, Your Grace, I came here with the rest of the Fort Guards. Fort Guards rule! Hush you lot, this is a private interview. Why did you even notice me? I'm not exactly quiet. Well, you've got my full attention. Let's begin the interview. <laughs> Don't be intimidated by the Raptor, by the way. He's just here to observe. Well, then, Sophia, why did you apply to be Fort Forensby's guard captain? I applied because I'm a born leader. Got a bunch of skills that go cruelly, cruelly underused standing guard all day. It's not to say my current role isn't important, but I know I have much more to offer foreign three and its people. When I heard about the position, I saw the opportunity to show what I'm capable of, so here I am. It's good to see you're passionate. All right. What about these leadership skills? You mentioned you're a born leader. How do you demonstrate this quality? Lead by example, patrolling the wilderness, defending against rowdy zombies, or even just standing watch. I'm there at my fellow guards, showing them how it's done and cheering them on. 
Leading a guard force isn't just pacing back and forth on a castle rooftop shouting orders. It's about integrity. Standing shoulder to shoulder with your comrades, fighting to protect what's important. Huh. Alright. Really should have prepared some questions for this interview. Uh, what would you rather fight? A hundred imp-sized unicorns or one unicorn-sized imp? Great question. The tiny unicorns would definitely be the easier to squash, but it's all about the challenge for me. I'd take on the big imp. I'm not getting up, clo up close to that hideous face, especially one that big. I'd keep my distance and fire a binding shot and keep it still. Aim my crossbow at its eyes and blind it. Finally, I'd dish out rapid-fire pain until it was nothing but impious ashes and hide. I wasn't expecting such a detailed answer. It seems you're quite the tactician. What would you say your greatest weakness is? What kind of question is that? I don't know. I'm just heard it's a common interview question. I'm kind of silly to me. I'm trying to sell myself here. What do you say? I work too hard? You're right. Stupid question. Moving on. That is a very stupid question. I don't know why people still ask that stupid fucking question in interviews. Here, I'm here to sell on why I'm such a good candidate for you. Let me tell you why I'm a bad candidate. Never understood why the fuck that's in there. Imagine this situation. A guard under your command has disobeyed in order to patrol the fort walls and instead spend the day at a gnome ball game. How would you handle it? Hmm. Guard under my command shirk their duty to watch gnome ball? I'd tackle the situation head on. I'd get patrol duty for a week. I'd have, the, I'd have the other guards occasionally pass a gnome ball to them and for every missed catch they'd get an extra day on patrol. You answered all my questions so confidently. You're clearly more prepared for this interview than I am. I work hard, I fight hard, I play hard. <laughs> I have one more question for you, Sophia. What actions would you take to help defend against the recent undead attacks? I'm so glad you asked. I've already thought a lot about this. Most of the guards are skilled in melee combat. I'm quick enough with the blade, but my real talent is firing a crossbow, and I'm not too shabby at making them too. <laughs> Us guards are less dark warriors now and more wilderness rangers, but we don't actually have any range. Unless throwing punches counts. The undead are mostly slow and easy to take out from a distance, especially the zombies. We've had a lot of injuries lately. There's really no need for any of us to get bitten when there are ways to both protect our fort and keep our guards safe. I want to build a designated ranger's workroom inside the fort to supply our guards with ranged equipment. There'll be mandatory training for all our guards at crossbow use and maintenance, which I'll lead. And finally, I'll, I'd oversee the building management alongside the guardhouse, including keeping an inventory of the fort's ammunition. Wow, what do you think of that, Raptor? She has some good ideas. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard him say. <laughs> well, I think that settles it. Sophia, you are hereby captain of the Fort 4 and 3 Guards, should you choose to accept. Oh, that was easy enough. Cap, rap, do not call me that. You are relieved of your capa capa captainly duties and may reside at the Fort as our welcome guest. Thank you for your service, no need for a speech. Alright, Guard Captain Sophia, your first order of duty would be to speak to Bill at the workshop, give him the specifications for your ranger's workroom, tell Bill I've sent you, and he'll drop some plans. My workroom? I'm on my way. Well, yeah, I didn't interview you to give you the job and then not go through with that idea. The idea was a really good idea. I've met the team and they're all great, but it's time to get to work. We need to establish and build out an extension of this guardhouse to supply the fort guards. Fort guards rule! <sighs> With enough ammo, bows, and crossbows to ensure we're well defended. Right, talk to Bill and see what Bill's got. Oh, yo, your graciousness. Your graciousness? Your grazed kneesedness? Let's start over. Hello, mate. <laughs> It's Sophia, our new captain of the guard. As for specifications for the ranger's workroom, notably lacked a wine cellar, beer on tap, and a patio. You really do have your heart set on that beer garden, don't you, Bill? Maybe it's time for, don't say it, an intervention. I can't believe you said it. I'd tell you to get out if this workshop weren't already open air. <laughs> We're quickly filling up the fort. At this rate, I'll have to build the wildy wall outside the wildy wall. And the Walking Dead don't trip worth a damn. That's why we need a, to bolt on a fletching dis extension, Bill. Please stop. Raptor are going on an adventure, and we need to ensure the fort is well defended in my absence. Right you are. Fort nightly crossbow training it is. I've already drawn up Sophia's plans with some additional ideas to, uh, for upgrades, too. That's, they're on the blueprints table when you're ready to start construction. It's incredible how fast you work, Bill. 
So we need 14 Acadia frames and 6 stone wall segments. Yo, I'm prepared! Let's go, dude! I didn't realize I had logs in my thing. Imagine being prepared for this. We don't have to go get wood. now. What does this building give me, actually? I didn't even check that. Hang on. Access to Ranger's workroom facilities, including fletching workbench and a spinning wheel. It gives a 2% chance of the workroom to supply materials while fletching various weapons and ammo. 1% chance to fletch an extra bundle of arrow shafts in the workroom. Uh, we get another 1% chance. A 2% chance to fletch strung bows when fletching unstrung bows in the workroom. The 3 is a 5% increased, increased to earn fletching EXP while inside the workroom. Unlocked Wisdom of Anima perks can be toggled via the Fletching Workbench to take effect inside the workroom. With Wisdom of Anima enabled, Din Arrows are imbued with great efficiency but award little EXP. Interesting. I don't know what the hell a Din Arrow is. I've never heard of that item before. to get limestone. I don't think we have any limestone. Might have to go get some of that. that this table should have been rotated so the animations line up more correctly. Do we, do we need 14 or 18? I don't remember now. things that I need for this? 14, okay. I like how it defaults to the, uh... To the tier 2 version. We haven't even built tier 1 yet. fleshed out of an idea this fort is turning into. Like, in terms of hubs, I actually do quite like this. I like when you can work to, like, build it up yourself. Like, areas like Provdinus are cool, Menaphos are cool, but it's feel more like fundamental areas of the game rather than, like, a hub. I'd rather be there doing something to benefit 
progressing that area of the game rather than using it as a this is where I do all my skilling and you know show off my accomplishments. This feels like a better version of the construction skill. I'm gonna hit 66 doing this. Nice being uh, prepared for this. You needed uh, logs and stuff. I don't have to worry about running all the way down to. Ooh. Menifos today. Just have what I need. Am I gonna need to go and run and get limestone, or do I have limestone in here right now? I have 16. Okay, so we don't have enough limestone. I'll figure we have more. Three more inventories of logs, and then we can go get the limestone. to get my, uh, after the last time we fought these zombies for a quest, I'm starting to think I need, uh, to get my defense level higher so I can move up from, uh, split bark armor. I think my, uh, my gear is starting to fall behind where my levels are at. May need to take some time sometime soon here to get my, uh, my rest of my combat stats up to 50. And then, uh... Get my crafting to follow suit. Because we can do- we can smith up to Runite. So I can make melee gear at 50. I can't make, the uh, tier 50 ranged gear yet. We gotta get the crafting levels higher. Crafting and fletching- fletching only needs... I think two more levels? I know I need to get the, cr the crossbow opened up for, um the grappling hook for agility shortcuts, but I think I can already do level 50 ammunition. I think 59 gets me the other adamant tipped bolts. I think that gets me diamond and ruby. But crafting and fletching, I think. Crafting and fletching need to get caught up, and then my melee stats need to get caught up. My melee and range needs to get caught up to 50 at least. Once we're at 50, we're probably okay for a while. But I, I think 50 is kind of where I want to be. 60 would be really nice, because we're starting to enter territory where dragon weapons and armor can drop, because we, we just did Lost City a little while ago. So I have access to the dragon longsword and dragon dagger, and we're coming up on... Hero's Quest is soon, too, and Hero's Quest opens up the dragon mace and dragon battle axe. They're also both really good, so I might push for 60. I just don't know how I'm going to go about it. Is a Slayer Master, right?
Yeah, he's usable. We could do that. We could start using the raptor. Maybe that's what we'll do. There's 66 construction. Anything super interesting? Maybe not yet. A couple of nice unlocks, but nothing, nothing crazy. There's that. There's my... Nope, that's the hatchet. There's my pickaxe. We'll get the limestone we need to make the wall. Oh, you can climb the ladder up there. I wonder if the, uh, the raptor slayer tasks are weighted a little bit better so that... You're not just, like it. It feels like some of the Slayer Masters are like predestinated to give you mostly one combat style. Like we've been going to Vanica, and he just seems to give me only things weak to magic ever. That's why magic ended up so much higher than everything else. Because it just seems like we always use magic and never anything else. Real close to 59 mining. Stone. Ranger's workroom. Is this built? Get a nice new fletching area. I wonder if this quest is listed as medium because of this this part having to take so long. <laughs> Turn in more posty Pete uh, last wills today too, which is nice. 
Maybe get another thing of soul die. I think I got two of them now. I think you need three all together to make a full set of soul die stuff. I think the armor that's dieable with it is only three pieces. Because it's the like really high level tier 92 stuff, right? I think it's I think it's this stuff. Well, I know it's these two. I don't know what the third set is. Oh, maybe trimmed master work. I don't know. Can master work be dyed? I wish it told you what it's usable on. Halfway there. <laughs> Definitely do take some time to put together, don't they? five-year badge now. Oh my god, has it been five years of streaming on this now? No way. We have not been doing this for that long. I guess we have. Holy shit. No, 48 months. Still, though, four years. It's crazy. It's a long fucking time. Granted, of the four years, I think I've really only actually put, you know, work into making content for like a year and a half. 
It's not like a true four years. But still, that's crazy. We're getting there. Almost done. There we go. So now we have a fletching workbench, another bank chest, a spinning wheel, So you've already found yourself right at home here. Happy to be here. Chapter 90 to head to the crypt north of here. Just checking to see if you have everything you need to go before I go. A quick round of the fort. All the guards are set up and I've ensured we're supplied. We've supplied to keep any attacks at bay. Rather than worry about whilst away, focus on your task and we'll check in once you return. Good luck. Brilliant. I feel a lot better knowing the fort is in capable hands. I better go see the raptors ready to investigate the crypt. All right. Take some food with us. I do not want to die again. It was really funny last time. Fort secure, meet me in the crypt north of here. Okay. A curiosity. 137 fire giants. That thing's, it's definitely water spells, yeah. Are there fire giants in the wilderness area still? We'll have to look that up at some point. I think you can fight them out here somewhere. Exceedingly dangerous fucking zombies out here. I don't know how much these urns would be worth. I'll occupy some more girls undead. Find materials to build a bridge over this lava. So he's gonna tank. I gotta build. Search the spooky hole. There's the other spooky hole. Oh, okay, so we're searching the spooky holes. Material ghoul. Okay. I, 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 I see, I see you, Jagex. I know what you're doing. I see you. All right, cool. We got all the, all the bridge materials. That wasn't too bad. Dude, what in the hell is with the game client? I thought we fixed this problem. I thought we fixed this. Because now we're in windowed mode using window capture, and now it's still crashed. At least it's not crashing as consistently as it was before. It's at least the first time that's happened in a while. Uh, 
Let's construct the bridge. Oh good, we don't have to sit here and wait for it to build. Take a closer look at that door. Careful, it could be trapped. And then it was trapped. It looks dragon kid in nature, that's for sure. Inspect the disc sealing the door while running your hands over the stones on its surface. One of them subtly shifts. You're allowed to clunk to the either side of you. It tells me it's going to take both of us to solve this. Oh, there we go. Something popped out of the seal. Okay. Retrieve a strange polyhedral stone from the compartment. Multifaceted surface is a soothing and hypnotic shape, and it thrums in a relaxing rhythm. What do you make of this, Raptor? Show the polyhedral artifact to retrieve from the ancient seal of the Raptor. It begins the priceless artifact a contemplative shake. It makes a worryingly fragile noise, like fragments of delicate crystal scraping expensively together. If you research this device, magical artifacts can be dangerous. Talk to Reldo, the libra librarian in Varrock Palace. Okay. Go we'll see Reldo. I really don't like the zombies out here. They, they hit really fucking hard. Oh, that's cool. Is that, like, specific to... That staff, or is that a... Uh... I like the look. It's like I like that Illidan Storm Rage look to it. I kind of want that stance. The stance is really cool, actually. <laughs> Once I have like you know, money. Well, actually, that maybe I'll, uh, I'll throw some rune coins in my account and buy some animations or something. Cause like the default animations for legacy mode don't look very good. Oh, hang on. There's a there's an instance marker instead. Ah, the new Duchess of Foreign Three. What a pleasant surprise. Are you finding your new role? Not what I expected. There's a surprising amount of busy work. Indeed, new identities can be challenging, as can old ones. Something I'm sure everyone here can attest to. What can I do for you, Your Grace? On this artifact sealed in a dragonkin door north of Fort Foreign Three. Can you identify it? Rodo cautiously studies the polyhedral stone. Hmm, yes. This looks familiar. I remember seeing a similar dragonkin relic in the manifest from an archaeological dig on Anachronia. It refused an archaeological journal from a nearby bookshelf and flips excitedly through it. There we are. The coloration is different from a ceremonial dragonkin device, but the shape is unmistakable. I shan't bore you with the details. Too late. Studying such a device caused the observer to fall into a deep sleep and have vivid dreams. You can think of it as a dream journal of sorts. This device both inspired and recorded the dreams of its owner. After impatiently yanks the dragonkin device out of Reldo's hands, 
I'll handle this. I've dealt with the land of dreams before. A shared dream sung by a siren witch. Show me how to enter the dream. Certainly. You need only gaze meditatively into one of the facets until you feel sleepy. After stares at the device for a few minutes, soothing colors would swirl hypnotically across its surface. The dream can artifact gradually begins to pulse in a hypnotic rhythm. After it collapses gracelessly in an unconscious heap of clanking armor. Oh dear, it appears the device is trapped. The dragon can guard their secrets so jealously. If only your companion had been in such a hurry, I could have warned him. That brother after, is he dead? No, he's imprisoned in a mental maze constructed from his worst nightmares. For how long? Foreverish. That's a little inconvenient. We're on an adventure together. I have to get him out. Hang on, you'll need to drink a potion of dreamless sleep before you use the device. I wouldn't want you to get trapped in nightmares of your own. How do I get a potion of dreamless sleep? By a startling coincidence, I happen to have one on hand. That's certainly very convenient. Isn't it just? A renowned enchanter with a brilliant mind and spectacular good looks brewed up a batch for me. It's done wonders for my insomnia. It only gives you a modified restless sleep potion. Gulp down the potion, discard its vial. The potion you drank will suppress your dreams. Activate the Dragonkin device, it should bring you into the Raptor's dream. Should. Should. Best be quick. If the potion wears off, you may be trapped forever in a cage of your own nightmares. I have an errand to run, so I can't stay to keep an eye on you, but I'll close the library so you have some privacy. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> I have errands to run, so I can't stick around. <laughs> You're right. Happened, I barely remember. I was with you in the library. You fell into a dream state after you touched the device from the door. Well, it did try to warn you, but... I've walked these dark planes for hours. There's no end to them. And you, are you real? I'm very real. Well, do give me a potion to help me enter your mind. I need to find a way out. The house. It's the only real place in this dream. All I recognize, at least. You shouldn't be here. Pressure plates? Looks like we can switch between characters. <laughs> Give it a little love tap? No, you move it. Oh, well, the game crashed again. I wish I knew why that kept happening. I know last time it was OBS, this time it seems to actually just be the game having a problem. This time it seems to actually just be RuneScape. So let's check the house, I guess. We have all these pressure plates, but I don't really know why yet. Oh, wait, no, I see. We have to move the boulders out of these ones out here. Okay, no, I get it. I'm doing the, um, the escort dungeons in Wind Waker. We're in the, um, was it the Wind Temple? Was it the Wind Temple or the Spirit Temple with, um, with all the ghosts and shit? I think it was the Spirit Temple. that one. Oh, 
whoops, no. Gotta go this way. I've had a sliding puzzle in RuneScape in a while, actually, and I'm thinking about it. Another stone that I just didn't see. No. I like how Didymus runs over to whoever I'm controlling. Five plates. I can't go that way. Maybe I needed to have it on there that maybe this just coincided with this spot. Maybe that's what I'm I'm overthinking this maybe. I don't th I think the okay, yeah, these these three plates were this line. These four plates control this door. Okay. That's a little weird. I, I assumed the ones that weren't attached to the doors on the other side were their own separate things. This makes a little bit more sense. I didn't notice that they were turning off. Don't show this. Who are they? Nothing to you. Okay, so now we have six plates. Do I need to move the stones over here? Something else had to have opened up here. During the manifestations of your subconscious, surely you know them. I don't know them. Leave it. I was trying to bring these boulders. No, these boulders are locked in place, so it's not boulders then. Okay, so maybe we need to stand on these two plates first. Oh, okay. These plates make the boulders show up. 
Huh. It seems we're finally getting some kind of backstory to the, uh... Oh, this is weird. We're getting an actual backstory of the raptor, finally. They've been an ambiguous, mysterious character for quite literally 10 years. Never, and never explored this character at all. Okay, so once it's on... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Put it back on this line. Once they're on the plates, they don't disappear after you get off the plate over here. Gotcha. Interesting puzzles. Now the house is on fire. No, don't run in. Let's take a look at what we got going on here, then. Give me a, a boulder there. Okay, I see. We need three boulders here. But I gotta make it show up. Oh, well, the raptor stopped running. Didymus is becoming one with the boulder. And save you, just hold on. Dust. I need to reach them. Working on it. Your cutscenes keep interrupting me. Okay. Why? Jigix, fix your Steam client. If I have to do that entire section over, I'm going to be very upset. Where they they turn to dust. Okay, so why? God fucking damn it. Why are we running into problems with this again? This should not be a fucking issue.
Oh, this is a pain in the ass. This is the, this is the second or third time we've played RuneScape and I've had the game just crash. The first time I narrowed it down, it was only happening when you had game capture set for OBS. <laughs> now it's just doing it. Fix your fucking client. People use AMD graphics cards. It's actually pretty fucking common. Especially considering NVIDIA's fucking scam artists. It's why I don't buy their shit anymore. So what, what is this doing? Okay, so that one gives me a boulder. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another another boulder popped up. We didn't get this far because the game decided it wanted to die. Further, right? The three dots. What is it? Hey, are you alright? She won't listen to you. Why not? She died a long time ago. 
How do you know that? Who is she? She's me. From the graves. Your parents. Supposed to know who that is? Oh, it's the Queen. Yes. You're the Raptor? Why? It was a compromise. With who? With Rold. I never wanted to be a queen. Being waited on the dresses, the courts, and diplomacy. The luxury Bianca was willing to kill for. I hate it. It makes you weak. Why'd you marry the king then? Because I love him. His beard, his nose, that tremor in his voice when he tries to sound confident that only I know is there. But I wasn't ready to just abandon my own life. Wouldn't you have just been a warrior queen? Rold's authority was tenuous at the time, and the dukes were looking for any sign of weakness. He's not a natural fighter, and being upstaged by a commoner could have been disastrous. He started wearing a disguise. Yes, as long as I'm there when he needs me, I still get out into the real world most of the time. Being rude to people? Is that an act too? In part, I've never been gracious, but it's useful to mislead people. The king's position seems secure these days. Maybe there's room to renegotiate your compromise. Maybe. I hadn't thought of that. First, we have a crisis to deal with. How do we get out of here, then? We're not leaving yet. We still haven't found what we came here for. Earlier, it was like you were dreaming. You weren't entirely lucid. And you better try to keep me focused. Come on, let's go deeper. Oh, well, that's a pretty big revelation that the, re the, the raptor has been the queen of Varrock the whole time. Where are we now? This place is creepy. Deeper, darker. There's a beam of light up ahead. Light is good. Let's find out. Light's not always good. Oh! Okay, that's a bit awkward. Are you fucking kidding me, game?